점수 잡는 hackers. Okay, and then uh, paragraph two. No evidence uh, supports the idea that the Lakota were organizing organizing a calculated attack against the American military. Calculated means, or would mean like you thought about it beforehand, um, before it happened, right? And measured the consequences. Okay, so. Such fears existed among Americans because of the unrest prevalent on reservations. Prevalent means like widespread. And reservations would be what? Have you guys heard of reservations? It's land saved for Native Americans. By who? by the US government itself. So um, they were forced to move there back in the days when uh, Americans you know, started colonizing. They, were, uh, they sent the Native Americans to reservations. So like separate lands, small, small areas, regions where um, you know, they were forced to just live there and leave their homes. So here, uh, the fears existed among Americans, right? Okay, so what kind of transition do we need here? Because no evidence supports the idea that the Lakota were organizing a calculated attack against the American military. So there is no proof that, you know, they were ready to attack the Americans, ready to attack the white people. But then um, f these fears existed among Americans because of the unrest prevalent on reservations. So this is actually contradictory information. So like this first sentence and the second sentence are contrasting information, right? So what implies contrast here out of A, B, C, D? Only C, but such fears existed among Americans even though no evidence supports the idea that they were getting ready for an attack, right? So C would be your answer, okay? All right, in the decades leading up to the Wounded Knee Massacre, um, Lakota lands had been seized, which means captured, and the tribes forced onto reservations. And here, um, let's look at this. Forced is what? Like, you make somebody do something, you command them to do it, whether they like it or not, and usually they don't want to do it, but you make them do it, right? Um, moved on to, relocated to, are basically the same thing, but these are not some, you know, this is not a result of someone forcing you or like um, making you do something, right? Because you can move to these lands without anyone having to command you to, you know, or like obligate you to do it, right? And then went to pretty much uh, the same thing here. So all three of these B, C, D are neutral, even though uh, they mean, you know, well, they mean the same things basically, right? Um, but then relocated would be a little bit different because uh, that means locate again. So it means like they were at one place and then they moved to the next place. So they relocated themselves. Uh, so, but they're all neutral tone, vocabulary wise, right? Diction wise. So force is the only one that has a negative connotation to it. So A would be your answer. Okay, so forced is someone making you do something, and that's the only different one. So A, okay. And then here, the U.S. government did not uphold its many promises. What does it mean to uphold a promise? That means to keep your promise, but it says it did not uphold its many promises, so that means it did not keep its pro many promises to Native peoples, which is talking about the Native Americans, right? Okay, breaking many treaties, which means breaking many like uh, signed uh, promises and failing to protect tribal resources. White homesteaders continually settled on land promised to the Lakota and prospectors mined on reservations and decimated the population of bison. Decimated means like uh, basically like kill or like basically an annihilate, right? Bison they depended on for survival. Okay, so if this they is ambiguous, which it is in this case, it's an ambiguous 
pronoun. That's what we would call it on the SAT, right? Okay, so why is it ambiguous? Because we don't know if they is referring to white homesteaders or if it's referring to the native peoples, right? So by context, we can tell that the author is trying to say native peoples because if white homesteaders were the ones that decimated or killed the population of bison, are they the ones that are depending on them for survival? Of course not, right? It would be what? The native peoples depending on bison for survival, but then who killed them? White homesteaders. White homesteaders uh, destroyed the bison, right? So we would have to make that specific and say the native peoples once again. Um, SAT writing language hates ambiguous pronouns. Remember that, okay? So when you don't know who the pronoun is referring to, please make it specific, even if it becomes uh, more wordy. That doesn't matter uh, for ambiguous pronoun questions, okay?